हेलो एवरी वन असलम वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट द केमिकल प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ इनामल नाउ इनामल हैज मेनली इन ऑर्गेनिक मटीरियल एंड ऑर्गेनिक मटीरियल सो इन ऑर्गेनिक मटीरियल इज अबाउट नाइन्टी सिक्स परसेंट एंड वी हैव अ स्मॉल अमाउंट ऑफ ऑर्गेनिक मटीरियल दैर इज वी हैव ऑर्गेनिक सब्सटेंस एंड वॉटर विच कॉन्स्टिट्यूट्स टू अ टोटल ऑफ फोर परसेंट ओके सो मैक्सिमम कॉन्टेंट वी हैव is this particular thing right here this is the inorganic material which is the 96% of it starting with the organic substance we have few unique proteins in the enamel and if we divide it it can be divided into two things which are amelogenins and non amelogenins okay so we have amelogenins we have non amelogenins now the amelogenins are low molecular weight proteins and they are about 90% of the enamel protein these are rich in proline histidine glutamine and they are hydrophobic in nature means they repel water then we have the non amelogenins these are high molecular weight proteins and they are 10% they constitute about 10% of the enamel matrix protein enamelin ameloblastin and tuftalin these are the important proteins which are in this group and they are rich in glycine aspartic acid and serine so this was about the organic components we have we had amelogenins and non amelogenins about which we have talked right talking about the inorganic material which is 96% and here we have the hydroxypatite so hydroxypatite is the inorganic material of the enamel this is how it looks like so if i zoom in you can appreciate that the hydroxypatite crystals are hexagonal in shape so basically we are looking at the cross section here so they are hexagonal in cross section and we have a central core of hydroxyl ion okay and around this we have triangle shapes right so here we have the phosphorus making one triangle and we have the calcium making another triangle okay now during the formation of enamel the magnesium can replace the calcium and carbonate can replace the hydroxyl the concentration of these ions they will increase from the surface downward downward towards the dentine so here the concentration of manganese and carbonate will be more than the concentration at the surface so down here we will have crystals which are richer in magnesium and carbonate that is why this area will be more prone to solubility because the lattice structure here is weaker so it will be more soluble in acids than the superficial structure so basically we have enamel rods like this and the base of it it has a hexagonal shape it also has different kinds of shape like it can be circular it can be oval we'll study this in detail as we proceed but for now let us visualize this as a individual enamel rod now coming to water now water it is present as a part of the crystal between rods surrounding rods it is present in between the rods in between the crystals basically in the minute spaces in between so this was the chemical properties of enamel in the next video we'll be studying about the structure of enamel we'll be covering very important viva questions like hunter sugar bands stri of red seals new needle line tuft lamellae and much more so do leave a thumbs up and comment below if you have any doubts i will make sure to cover it in the next video Take care Allah Hafiz